Attorney General Martha Coakley is locked in a neck-and-neck -neck race for governor against Republican Charlie Baker. And the next governor must be a good partner to our business community. She must, yes, we like the sound of that, right? Coakley supports women's rights, early childhood education, and improved mental health care. The relatively tame campaign heated up when Baker supporters ran an ad claiming that Coakley does not protect children. Taking care of kids and making sure they are safe and making sure that we advocate for families and kids is what I have always done. I've done it as Attorney General. Most importantly, I will do it as Governor. Coakley's campaign received some new enthusiasm when First Lady Michelle Obama headlined a rally in Dorchester. Some Massachusetts voters are ready to cast their ballot for Martha Coakley, while some remain undecided. I think she is sometimes hard to listen to. She's harder to listen to than Barack Obama, but I think she's, but I think she's so smart, and I think she really understands the state. I think Martha has made too many shortcomings of promises that she said she would do and she hasn't delivered, and I'm so nervous that she won't do it again. Though the race is close, the fundraising is not. Coakley's campaign trails Charlie Baker's by over a million dollars as the two enter the final stretch, with less than a month left before Election Day. Reporting for BUTV News, I'm Amelia Capuzzi.